And hey beautiful people, it's Rakia and I'm back with another video. So on this video, I want to answer the questions that you guys have been asking me. So you guys have been dropping a lot of questions down in the comments. So I want to go ahead and answer all these questions. Now, if you guys are watching this video because you're just trying to learn more about credit, you haven't asked a question, please go ahead and ask a question down below in the comments. I'll see that question and then I'll answer it on my next live video. If you guys haven't already, please also make sure you guys join my um, membership because I have the five ways to increase your credit score at 60 points in 60 days where I'm actually doing meetups where I'm looking at your credit reports four times in those 60 days to try to help you get your credit score over that 60 points. That's the goal. It's a dollar just to start. It's a dollar trial on there. So go ahead and start that up. And it's a dollar trial for seven days. And I hope that I'll see you guys there. If you cannot afford to be in my membership, you guys, that don't mean that you cannot learn these things. I still have my webinar. If you look down below, you'll see a link um, for the 60 points in 60 days. Definitely check that out because you guys still get a free download. Um, to you guys, so you guys can work to remove those negative accounts. If you have any inquiries, I give you a free inquiry dispute letter. And also I give you a letter you can send to the collection uh, companies. But if you're in a membership, you get those letters like plus more. Like any letter, any problem you have, we can give it to you. We can even um, formulate that letter and give it to you so you can mail it out also. So definitely, if you can't afford it, definitely join the membership. Let's get these points up this year, you guys. If you cannot afford, afford it, that's fine. You can get everything for free. Just join the 60 points in 60 days. You can get it for free there. But let's start going into these questions because it's a lot of them. And I'm, I don't want to get too tired <laughs> answering all the um, different questions that's here. So the first question, hey, Rikita, is there also a method you can use in Europe that works? I do not know of any credit cards for Amsterdam at all, like Europe. I don't know of any credit cards. I did think, let me try to expand out to these different countries, but I still have not did anything in the United States in terms of like credit cards. It's exciting to think that you're watching me. <laughs> uh, I would love to learn more, but you know, hit me up next year or a year after that um, to see if I'm going to be into that. Maybe I'll make like a one-off video or something um, during the summer, but right now I'm just not doing it but i'll keep your comment and when i do get into these different countries i'll definitely um tag you in it so that you can watch the video because it's exciting that we can have all the credit cards here but i know you guys want credit cards too but thank you for watching how come there is no visa logo so when it comes down to the Lexus credit card, the Toyota credit card, those credit cards, they do have a Visa version. So they got a Visa card and a store card. So it's you have to go to their website and see which one you can get approved for. They have the two different ones that's actually out there. So yes, there is a Visa version for both of these cards. You just have to go to their website and see if you can get approved for the Visa. Or if you can get approved for the Visa, maybe they'll just give you that store card. Now I want to show you this card. Let's go ahead and look it up because I want you to be able to, you know, see how I look these different things up looking on a website. So this was for the Lexus credit card. And let's see what they have. Yeah, so here is the actual um, Visa card. Not wrong button. <laughs> um, here is the actual Visa card. So this is the Lexus one. This is the one where I told you guys you can pre-qualify um, for their credit card. This is the Visa. They have a Visa and they have a store card. So you just have to go to the website and actually just apply there for it. And hopefully if you can get that Visa, you'll still get the store card for those people that's trying to get um, a credit card to be a added to their credit reports. Hopefully you guys will still be able to get the regular store card. But yes, they do have a visa and here is that um, visa logo so that you can see that it is actual visa card. This will work with active collections and charge offs. Um, I looked at this. So this is the apply bank credit card. I believe that applied bank credit card, you can use, you can get that. I don't care what your situation is. I don't even think they're, they check credit, but let me double, um, yeah, they don't even check at all. <laughs> 
So when it comes down to the applied bank credit card, you can get that even if you have active collections or even charge offs on your credit reports because they don't even check your credit. There's quite a few cards that's actually like that. Like Open Sky, they don't care what's on your credit report. They'll still approve you even if you have very, very bad credit. Um, you can also look into the credit builder card. Um, that's a great card that you can get. You can actually get two of those. They can approve you for those accounts and they're not going to check your credit at all. And they don't care if you had a bankruptcy, foreclosure, you could just file bankruptcy yesterday. They don't care because they're not checking your credit to see if they're going to approve you. So yes, you can get approved if you have those collections and charge offs. But let's double check and look into this account, you guys. So yeah, they are going to report to all three credit bureaus. Um, you could just click right here, get approved today. Get approved today. Let in some seconds, no credit check or minimum credit score required. Um, so yes, you don't, it don't matter what your credit score is at all. Even if you got collections or charge up because it's no credit check, they're not even seeing that you even have that going on. Um, they send to your security deposit can be $200 to $1,000. Increase your credit limit to $5,000 by adding additional deposits at any time after the application has been approved. So, yeah, you can definitely get this account even if you have collections and charge offs on your credit reports. And definitely look into my website. Go to my website, um, Rakita.com, and in the search bar, put in. Um, bad credit. I have a list of credit cards there that you guys can get approved for also, um, especially if you guys are trying to get approved for credit cards and you have bad credit. But this one is a secure one. They're not going to check your credit, so you should definitely be able to get it. I actually had this one, this next one. I had a screenshot that I wanted to add up here, you guys. So let me actually go and get that really quickly. Because some of the stuff, you guys, I have to research it. I have to look, you know, some of the stuff I'm like, mm, I don't know. Let me let me double check. Mm, I can't pull it up. Okay, let me just go ahead and record this one and let me double check which car it was for so when it come down to the alliant credit union i actually read that they're actually using a vantage 4.0 model i don't know if this is actually true but they said that they called i did not call but definitely call them and ask them what scoring model that they are actually using but they're going to pull your transunion credit um, report also, and usually your Vantage score is way higher than FICO. So if you guys want to to try to see if you can get approved for this, I definitely suggest that you try because if they're not using your FICO, they're using your Vantage, your Vantage score is probably most likely lit. Like it's probably very, very good. Now, I think I still... Um, when it come down to this card, I do want you guys to definitely call, like call them to see if they can actually tell you what score model that they're using. I know that you're asking, you know, if it's going to be FICO, but I actually read that they're saying it's not FICO. They're using Advantage. And I was like, get out of here. But other people saying the same thing, too. But definitely do your research. Call them, too, to see exactly what they're using. And then you can go from there. But hopefully this helps. Does kickoff come with a card? Kickoff does come with a card only if you get a secure credit card with them. If you just get their seven hundred and fifty dollar account, that is not going to come with a card. They're just going to report to the credit bureaus. They're not. Going, they're not going to actually send you a card. But if you actually get their secure credit card, then that one is actually going to come with a credit card. Let me look up this kickoff card too because kickoff they just recently had their secure credit card. And that's different than what we're used to with kickoff. So they're saying you can join the waiting list for the card. Our $200 cash with qualifying deposits. The, so it's called the kickoff credit plus cash card. It's a secure uh, credit card that works like a debit card and a checking account. So you guys are going to earn cash back, um, overdraft protection. You'll get paid early with it too. 
you could pay two days early, bill credit with your banking service, and then to monthly ATM fee reimbursements. There is no fees at all, no credit check. Um, it is insured from the FDIC, and you could join that waiting list. Now, when I get into my account, you guys, um, let me let me double check. Let me actually try to log into my account and see. Let me see, because I was able to join right away for this one, but I don't want it. Like <laughs> the days of me testing out my credit for y'all is over. I'm not just going to get in these accounts anymore. Like, um, oh, I just have it on here where they said I can learn more, not actually do it. Let me share my screen since I'm actually logged in now. So here's my kickoff account. So here's the one where you get the actual cash card. And then here is that credit account, that $750 credit account. Mine is only $500 because I actually signed up for it when it was only $500 before it went to $750. So here is that cash account of $750. But if you actually get the cash card um, right here, then you definitely are going to get a uh, MasterCard in the mail. Continue, continue, continue. I want to see if they're going to let me apply, sign up. Oh, wow. Okay. That's not my actual home address. Good thing, right? <laughs> I put something different in there just in case it happened. But okay. So I can actually sign up for that account right now, which is really amazing. Okay. Look at me. Okay. I'm happy that I'm able to sign up, but I don't want to sign up for that. Like, I don't want it, y'all. I do not want it. Okay, that is really good that they had that. But yeah, if you get that card, then you can actually um, get that account. I mean, if you get the account, the secure card, card account, then you can get the card. So somebody said that was actually approved for um, one of... They was approved for the secured MasterCard with a $99 deposit. Is it better to get approved for another one or to increase the limit? So when it comes down to the Capital One credit cards, if you can get approved for additional credit cards, definitely try. Capital One allow you to have two personal credit cards and two business credit cards. So definitely see if you can get approved for another one, but it cannot be that same exact credit card. If it is a secure credit card that you apply for and you got approved for that one, I will wait at least you know three to six months before trying to get another credit card. And hopefully they do increase your limit and graduate that credit card. But I will just wait first because I will want that to turn into an unsecured credit card before you try to get additional credit cards with them. But if your credit score gets really, really high, like your credit just shoot up, then definitely go ahead and see if you can pre-qualify for some of their other credit cards. Now let's go to this Capital One um, website because Capital One, they do have different um, cards. Um, my computer is kind of loading. They do have different um, cards that you guys can definitely try to get. So this is probably most likely the one that you got that platinum because platinum allow you to put $99 down instead of the full $200 deposit. They say I graduate this one um, in as little as six months. Um, let's go to it so I can show you that. They said that they're going to graduate it, which means that they're going to give you your money back and increase your limit, hopefully also. And they're saying that they're going to do that. So be automatically considered in as little as six months. So after that six month mark, then they're going to look into giving you a deposit back. And again, to in as little as six months. Now, I will wait to this one actually graduate and then I will try to get another one with them. But don't forget all the Capital One credit cards, you can pre-qualify for them. So you can hover right over here and see if I'm pre-approved. So see if they can pre-approve you for one of their credit cards. Even if you guys are like that three-month mark or six-month mark and it still hasn't graduated, still see if they can give you another one because they may be able to approve you for another one. And if they can, then hop on it and get it because sometimes people do say them capital ones. They do not graduate um, like they're supposed to. So I will try to see if you guys can definitely get another one.
my card is on the way will when i be asked to pay a deposit for the card because i didn't get an email about that let me check because i thought when i seen this comment this was for capital one let me see yeah it was for the capital one platinum So for the Capital One Platinum credit card, as soon as you are approved for the credit card, you are required to make a deposit right away. If you do not make a deposit on this account, they're not going to send your credit card at all. So if you think that you have a card coming in the mail, you do want to double check with them and say, hey, I'm just want to make sure I want to make sure everything is good on my account. Make sure I have I have a card coming in the mail because sometimes you'll think it's coming in the mail and it's not because Capital One said that you have to pay it. As soon as you're approved, you have to pay that deposit. They do give you a certain amount of time, but you have to pay that deposit before they send you that card in the mail. Let's double check, you guys. Um, so right here, too. So you have to make a deposit on the account and then they're going to send you that card in the mail. They're not going to send you that card until you make your deposit. So I don't know if you actually have the card coming. <laughs> I'm, I don't know. Call them, like call them, ask them, like this type of question. Call them and say, hey, is my card coming? Like what's going on? Because I would hate that you, you know, I would hate for you to think that you actually have this card coming and it's not actually coming and you just assume that it was coming and um, you go past your deadline or something. You know, you don't need a certain amount of time to even put that deposit down. I don't want you to go past like that time limit that they give you and then now you it's out of you out of luck you can't do it you know so definitely call them and ask them you know to actually have a card coming okay i see this one too Okay, I was trying to download this, but let's actually go to the website where I did this screenshot at. Because it's like I'm messing up my computer downloading all these files. Um, So you can definitely contact Kickoff through their email. So support at kickoff.com. That is the best way for you to contact them. And the only way for you to contact them if you do not have their actual secure credit card. If you don't have that cash plus card, then you guys can't call their phone number. But if you do have that cash plus card, they do have a number that you can call. And their number is 866 Three three one one two five six. But you're only able to call that number if you have the kickoff cash plus um, card. I can't even say it. And it's their secure credit card, basically. Now, let me show you my screen to show you where I got that from. So kickoff phone number. Here is the phone number. Uh oh. There we go. So here is the number that they're providing, but they're saying too, only if you have that secure credit card. If you don't have that secure credit card, um, then you can't really call that number and get help. You have to use that support at kickoff.com. And they usually should be okay with getting back to you. I guess I should double check to see how long that will take me to um take for them to respond to me but that is their phone number so if you guys need to contact them you can contact them at that number but you have to make sure that you have their cash card so i guess if you don't have a family member in the military it'd be useless to apply Yes, if you guys do not have any ties to somebody in the military in terms of your family um, or you yourself, then there's probably no way that you can actually get an account with Navy Federal Credit Union. When I got my account with Navy Federal, all I did was I applied right over the phone. I gave her all my information. I asked her just to give me just a regular savings account. That's it. And I, she said, how do you qualify? I said, hey, my granddad is in the Navy. 
that was it. I didn't have to send a documentation or anything like that. My granddad is actually in the Navy, though, so I didn't like technically lie, but I didn't have to send in documentation. So if you do not qualify and don't have these different things, then maybe you want to look into getting a credit card or get an account with a different credit union. Oh, I didn't like this one because somebody asked me about it was some accounts. And it's like if you guys see accounts that's charging you like um, I don't even want to say the name of the accounts because I don't want you guys to go there and fall victim to them. But um, if you guys see these accounts that's charging you like nine ninety nine per month just to have a credit account with them. That's not worth it, you guys. I don't think you guys should get those type of accounts. Like, seriously. Um, I did a video yesterday on the Verve card and the Reflex card. Horrible fees. But I still put that video out there because I got pre-qualification in the mail. A lot of people got pre-qualifications in the mail. I'm like, no, no. I ain't going to say the word I want to say. H, no, we won't go. <laughs> because I was just like, this is just crazy. But I still like to put it out there so you guys can understand looking at fees and things like that. Because I didn't understand that at first. Um, that's something that we had to learn, you know, how to look at the terms and see the fees. But if you guys see accounts out there that's charging you a lot, like stay away from them, seriously. Because I, I don't want you guys um, to fall victim to these accounts. Do I need to close my Wells Fargo Platinum card after applying to the active cash card? I did a little research and I see that you do not have to close your Wells Fargo Platinum card if you guys apply for the active cash card. But please definitely call Wells Fargo to double check um, with them to ask, hey, do I need to close this account or can I keep it? But the research that I've seen, I see that you did not have to close it, but please double check this information with Wells Fargo directly.